it is emerging that for not uh, that is for sure slowly very slowly yet gradually and it will ultimately come up to a certain level that is also to some people that is guaranteed but whether it is helping each other or not at this stage that is a very difficult question to answer at the moment uh, the objectives are, are diverse of brick members when it started to group uh, group in uh, uh, there were few countries and they had some common objectives yet they had much divergence in their objectives too now new countries have joined brics much more are aspiring to join brics we had this pakistan stand in this entire scenario is very difficult to say because at a point in time the foreign office said that we have not even applied for it but initially there were some reports that india has blocked our entry into it so i don't know what is the real situation about pakistan but to be fair there is something that is absolutely needed in the current geopolitical circumstances brics the emerging nations the emerging economic powers of the world need to unite and stand up against what is happening around both in political and in economic terms when i look at brics i look at it from a little different perspective for instance once upon a time you may not even recall it there used to be what is known as non aligned movement from bandra naike to nehru to chuan lai everyone was a part of it and that was i think at its height it was and uh, especially uh, with uh, the cold war going on something if i'm not wrong 100 plus countries were part of it that was regarded as the answer of the emerging world to the colonialist powers as they used to call them but slowly and gradually things started to change the world became basically there was there remained one superpower russia or ussr was uh, ussr was divided into different countries and it lost its eminence and consequently what happened that there was one power in the world which controlled the world and what bush uh, the senior said it that this is a new world that has emerged out of the cold war now in this and at that was the time when non aligned movement should have filled the gap to a certain extent non aligned movement not only failed to do that but in fact that went uh, it l- literally got itself diluted i presume there are some meetings that still goes on but non aligned movement does not carry any eminence today or any real uh, power broker is not a real power broker today now in these circumstances brics was an was a wonderful initiative it needs to grow to counter the unitary global power so global power united states and but brics has got its own problems for instance china and india part of brics yes but they are diverging on so many issues and in case india is trying to block pakistan's entry into brics i'm not sure to what extent that is correct to be fair with you but if india is trying to block pakistan's entry into brics that is again a misfortune that means pity politics is overtaking the larger game this happened with sark too sark was a wonderful initiative but sark ultimately lost its eminence because of the political differences and to to a very great extent indian adamance to pakistan being there or pakistan playing an active role there so all said and done brics is a wonderful initiative it should go on it should expand and it can do a lot to the world but how quickly it could grow that remains a big question mark and i have a feeling that due to the divergence of the objectives of different countries uh, within brics this may take a long time for the brics to emerge as a real power broker in this world